Hi guys, it's Suzanne. I'm back again with another video and this video is just a mishmash of stuff and it is basically, even though I'm not buying mystery boxes currently until I get my giveaways caught up because I'm overrun with mysteries right now, I still purchase from D stashes on occasion and um, these have been um, actually sitting for a while so I could have, you know, enough to produce a full video because... Um, you know, I didn't want to do just a video. I know I do do those videos from hauls with two polishes. So I just thought I would wait till I got a few. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven polishes. And I'll just explain, you know, basically how I do and where I purchased them and why I purchased them. So the first one is not an indie. It's from Essie. And it is um, Grass Never Greener. And this, I can, I think it's push play maybe this is actually from their latest collection i did a video um, i'll try to put that video out before this one where i tried brands that um, i've either never tried or haven't tried in 10 plus years and um, one of them was essie and i really like the formula i think they've um, changed it since i used it you know when I was quite a bit younger and I had a hard decision picking between this polish and this yellow polish and I wound up going with the yellow one but then after I you know made that video I thought it was so amazing and I kind of wanted this green one too so I purchased this green one and I wound up purchasing this one on Amazon um and um I don't know I just kind of wanted this green one too think they've changed their formula like this is definitely just a one coater it's pretty opaque in one coat I just thought I don't know if I have anything quite that shade of green I probably do but like I said when I was making that first video I had a hard time picking between which two to purchase because those were my two favorite from um, that collection and I wound up getting the yellow, and then I couldn't stop thinking about the green, so I went back and purchased the green. That is very cute. And like I said, Essie has changed their formula, I believe, because I remember not being a fan, but I definitely like it right now. So this is Essie Grass Never Greener. And then the next polish, okay. Amazon I'll purchase one polish from because you can get free shipping um, so I can do a one polish from Amazon and then the next two came from 1D stash and this is the polish I was actually wanting from that person's D stash this is Night Owl Lacquer time for the charm bomb to explode and um, you now it says it's from June 2022 Fandom Flakies so, I don't know if any of y'all know about this polish, but I guess I wasn't, um, you know, I wasn't aware of that box at the time. I probably still wouldn't have bought it because I try to stay, stick with my four boxes because that's already, like, enough. Um, but I had seen this out there on the sites and had been wanting it, and most people have been selling this for, like, still $12.00. Which, I guess if you haven't used it and it's a polish you really want, isn't a bad price. But when I buy from someone's D-Stash, I like to get it, um, if it's new and only swatched, I like to get it for like $10 and under. Um, and then anything cheaper than that is really amazing. But, um... I had been looking at this one and I had actually purchased it one time and then the seller messaged me and said someone had already messaged her before I messaged her and I was like okay so I didn't wind up getting it and then I saw the person had this for nine dollars so I jumped on it because like I said I've been wanting it but I wasn't willing to pay twelve dollars for it so I'm curious to see if I'm gonna love it because um, I've actually never seen swatches I've only seen it in the bottle and I just love that shade of blue like a glitter or something on me that just will not get off um I guess I've never seen swatches of it I just love the shade of blue in the bottle oh it's it is super cute I can see why people might sell it because this is the second coat 
and it's sheer in spots even though it's not looking at sheer in my camera it's sheer in spots but i think it will be okay with a blurring base coat you know in two coats or you could do three coats um thinner coats than what i did but you could do three coats i will have to try this one and see if i really love it or if i wind up keeping it but i'm definitely going to try it because like i said i've been on the hunt not really on the hunt i don't actively go looking for polishes um because i have enough but if i see them i will you know pounce on them if the price is right so this one like i said was finally to a price that i felt was right so i had to you know get on that so this was night owl lacquer time for the charm bomb to explode and then since this was a d stash i wanted to purchase you know one other polish because i didn't want to pay you know to ship it so i wound up getting this polish um from bluebird lacquer and this is where have you been owl owl like an owl my life where have you been owl my life that's cute this is from hhc 2020 and i think i paid eight or nine dollars for this it's like somebody got on him there a little bit um i didn't know if i look i like those green like flakies in that orange i don't know if i like this one or not but i wasn't just gonna pay for that truth bomb um so i had to purchase i didn't have to but i was gonna purchase something else and this one ooh was the one I picked um I'm not loving it in that first coat because it's more like a burnt orange but maybe it'll look nicer in the second coat online it was hard to tell if it was a burnt orange or like a bright orange I was hoping for a bright orange um this is kind of like a burnt orange so I can tell you right now I'll be putting this one into my giveaways because it's just it's I just not for me I'm not a burnt orange type of person I'm more of a bright orange person um, but it is very pretty and it picks up the flakes very nice if you like that kind of burnt orange to brownish color I'm not sure if that was the truth bomb that came off in there that it wasn't leaking when I purchased it but this one is going straight in the D stash or not not really the D stash the giveaway and this is Bluebird Lacquer. It does not want to focus on that. Where have you, where have you barn all my life? Oh, that's even cuter. Where have you barn all, all my life? I want to say all every time I say it, but that's very cute. But the coloring is not for me. So that one will go in the giveaways. Okay. Then the next two I got are from Hollow Taco. I've actually never tried Hollow Taco and I've got on their website and I have been wanting to try it, but they are slightly pricey, I think, um, for indie polishes. So I have been kind of just looking at people's when people post them, you know, what the prices were. I honestly could not remember what I paid for these. I think eight or nine dollars and they hold their value too. And people have been, um, you know have them on the higher end for me for a used polish so i haven't been able to purchase any so when i saw these two um at eight or nine dollars i jumped right on it so the first one is just a cream and this is from hollow taco and this is banana medicine and this just looks like a light i guess it's supposed to be a banana color but basically just a super light yellow so like i said i've been Ooh, that's a pretty nice formula. Um, I've been wanting to try Hollow Taco for a while, but, you know, they are a pricey brand in my opinion. Anything that is, you know, $14 and up to me is pricey. Now, it might well be worth it. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's it, it's pricey. And when you haven't tried the brand, it's hard to spend that much money without knowing if you'll like it. Or in my opinion, it is. Ooh, I like that yellow. I would definitely be keeping that one and adding it to my collection. I'm not sure. I wouldn't say just right off the bat, I would have to wear it. I wouldn't say it's my favorite uh, cream formula that I own. But 
I like it in two coats. It's not streaky. It's opaque on the swatch. I don't see anything wrong with it. Looks very nice. I know they had like a pastel uh, cream collection. I kind of want it, but I didn't want to pay it without knowing if I liked it. And this is Hello Taco Banana Medicine. And then the other one I purchased from that same person is another Hollow Taco because they were selling, I guess, a bunch of Hollow Tacos that they didn't care for anymore. And this one is called Green Taffy. And this just looks like, you know, they're green. It's like a green shade that's holographic, which I think is kind of what they're famous or known for. So their caps feel really nice. It's got like um like a rubberization on it. Um, so that's nice. I just hope they don't turn sticky because I know some of them turn sticky. Okay, so the other one had a nicer brush. I guess it's a newer formula. The older formulas have this like thinner brush. And I don't like that at all. I don't like that thin little brush, but I can deal with it. Ooh, it's pretty. I don't know if I have any green hollows this color. So I will definitely um, at least try it once and wear it before I put it in my giveaway. But I could see why people like them. It's a very nice formula. Um, this formula here is nicer than their cream formula in my opinion, but they're both super nice. So cute. So that was Hollow Taco, Green Taffy, and then these next two, ooh, these were good ones here. These were good ones here. Um, this must, this D stash I found must be a swatcher because um, she had these polishes out and for sale pretty soon after they went on sale and um, there was one I wanted that came out in Little Box of Horrors. And I wanted it so bad. It has not left my mind. But that month, I had another polish that I was like, yeah, it's okay that I was going to buy with it. But the more I thought about it, I thought you were just buying that, you know, that eh, polish so you can get the one that you really want. And because of my, you know, policy of not buying just one polish, see that saved me for purchasing that month. Um, so that's why I like that policy. I know some people say, well, that forces you to buy another polish. But for me, I normally, sometimes in D stashes, like I bought that Bluebird that I am obviously don't like and I'm going to put in my giveaway. But for me, it really does save me money because there's been so many times um, I haven't purchased from a box or um, a brand because it's like I only really want this one polish and anything else I'm buying I'm just forcing on myself so I can get the one polish so let's look at the polish that I really really want it and this is from Rogue Lacquer and this is the Yoda Chronicles see and it was in April uh, polish gamers box 23 this looked so glowy um I don't have the description because I didn't wind up keeping it because I decided not to purchase. But I got this polish for $8 and it's been swatched on four fingers. So I thought it was an amazing deal. And this person who sold this, um, she is a swatcher, but I love her. I do check her page quite a bit because I love her because she doesn't run the prices up. Like you will see some swatchers who, which you know, I don't have a problem with, it's their business, and they have the polish, they can do whatever they want with it, but I've seen some swatchers who swatch it on four fingers and sell it for the same price as it sells new, and I can see if you missed out on it, that's, you know, what you have to do to get the polish, but I love a swatcher who sells it at a discount, and for eight dollars for this polish i was on it so fast guys i was like oh my gosh when i saw it i was like that is the polish that i turned down from little box of horrors and i did not think i would get it again look at that it is little box of horrors i think is it or was it polish gamers it's polish gamers let me get my boxes straight but 
even though I didn't know the box, I did not forget the Geoda Chronicles. I should have known that because they did Star Wars, Polish Gamer Star Wars. But I could not stop thinking about the Geoda Chronicles. I really couldn't. I kept thinking about it. I was like so close to purchasing that other polish, which I might have loved that other polish. But like again, I was only purchasing that other polish to get this one. So I was just like, you can't, you cannot do it. But oh my gosh, Ooh, it is so glowy. And it was pretty opaque on one coat too. I just was too caught up in my story to mention it. But this one is so, oh my gosh. Like I said, I, can't, I have not stopped thinking about this since it came out in that box. And then when I saw this swatcher had it, oh, I was on it so fast. Because $8 for a polish that's only been swatched on four fingers that just came out. Even if it didn't just come out, but just come out, that is, it's freaking amazing. So this was Rogue Lacquer, the Yoda Chronicles. And then, so I went further down on her page because I was like, I still can't just buy one polish. And she has, she has quite a few polishes, so it wasn't hard to pick from. And I paid $8 for this one too. And this is Cupcake Polish. Hey now, hey now. And this was from HHC a while back. And this was actually on my wish list. But it just got vetoed because it's a green. And I have a ton of greens. And I think this was described, if I remember right. This is from, um, what is that show? Um, Hillary Duff was in it, I think. I could not think of what it's called. I wanted to call it Duff something, but that's her name. Hillary Duff was in it. Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire. But this was a lime holographic. So like I said, this was on my list, but I just, you know, you can't get everything. So, oh my God, this is so cute. Um, So it didn't make the cut. Look at that. Um, It didn't make the cut, so... I didn't get it, but when I saw the one with the Yoda Chronicles for the Rogue, I was like, I'm definitely getting that. Because, like I said, she had other polishes that, that would be fine. I could purchase any of those. Um, but this one, I was like, that's definitely one I remember wanting. I hadn't been thinking about it like I'd been thinking about this Yoda. But it was definitely one that I remembered wanting. So I wound up purchasing that one also. So that is Cupcake Polish. Hey now, hey now. So from here to here, from this green one to here, um, are all the polishes. Um, this looks different in person, but I will try that one. That may go in the giveaway. This one may go in the giveaway too. This one's definitely going in the giveaway. I'll be keeping this one. This one's a try keeping and keeping so so i'm keeping several and adding one to the giveaway but that is all the purchases that i purchased of polish in this little miss mismatch mismatch of things um comment down below if you've ever purchased from a d stash or if you ever purchased from d stashes because i'm curious if i'm the only one or if you know tons of people purchase from them or comment down below another thing i would love to know is um if you like hello taco what's a good one from her line to purchase because like i said this is my first experience with hollow taco and if you like videos like this please consider subscribing to my channel i do nail content like this all the time and i do monthly giveaways of nail polish to subscribers so you might as well subscribe i hope everyone has a great day remember keep polishing bye guys